and we're back my name's chris and this is oxygen that included so i came up with this idea that if we combined the three uh polluted water uh, pockets we could probably start a thimble reed farm now obviously we've got this pocket of water here obviously one one way or another we're gonna have to get rid of it or maybe pump it somewhere else so what i'm gonna try and do is i'm gonna try and make this a pre-water pocket we've got uh let's see we've got polluted water there so what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to um, right one thing i am going to need to do is um because if we, if they go in there this is going to flood there but if we open this and then just plug it down that might work they might get wet but um and then mm, no because that's going to leak into there isn't it so if i cancel that and maybe say push this up here yeah so they can get this and then grab a ladder to there and then push I might have to do that from there so that equals into that and then we'll see when we when we unlock the the um the the camera a bit more you can probably see what's down here so here it says so it's unreachable dig and colony lacks super digging hard skills so let's go and get the duplicate skills uh we would like to dig in you like digging so you you and you there and yep that's it so that should now yep so what they do is they come out from here they go into there they can grab the water from there to fill them up and yeah so they go in there uh what i might do is build a ladder cross so they've got some platform to stand on what no what i might do actually is take that out i might put a i know it sounds stupid but i might put a tile there under a storage bin and then that storage bin then will hold you know the slime the uh what else is there basically all the the mucky stuff so we're going to try and hold that so yeah so by the looks of things there's loads of polluted water down the bottom here so what we're going to do is we're probably going to end up going through this way grab the thimble reed or even make the the, the farm for the thimble reed up here um probably just make it a bit easier for us so they they're complaining there's no oxygen down here but then as soon as we try and start opening this up yes it's not ideal but it's oxygen nevertheless it's polluted oxygen yeah so <clears throat> excuse me um so yeah so you're gonna go through here now so we get we'll get all this slime and and this muck out, out of here see because you've got that polluted water that polluted water and then by the looks of things you've got quite a deep one here which is surrounded by which has obviously got the natural gas geyser which i don't really want i don't want to break into because at the moment we've got no reason for it to be honest so yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to go um no have we not picked up any any there we go so we've got polluted dirt slime let's set that to six and they should just pick up anything that's polluted dirt or slime should just go straight in there so it's not in a base it's not you know a, an ideal fetching point uh one of them compost heaps is already activated which is great and i just need someone to just keep on going down here um we can unlock this as well so let's do that and then select bioscan once it's built 
Yeah, they're not going to be happy that um, they're getting wet, but at the moment there's not much we can do. There's only three of them. Uh, oh, we've got more polluted water up here. Oh, Christ. we got... um. So we could filter that down into that. That's going to equal out. And possibly there. So if we grab... Say that there. And yep, so they so they don't complain. It's like, oh, I'm getting wet. You're always you're always getting wet in the beginning. Everyone gets them wet in the beginning. I think it's just the way the game, uh, your, your your process of the way the game works. So we get rid of that. Uh, get rid of some of that. And then we'll just drop the water in through there, float down into there. And then obviously this will start filtering itself out. Um, so making it one big long thing. We've unlocked the, new, what's this, Neutronial. I'm not going to even pronounce that. Um, and then, so I'm going to put that up there. Eventually I want to link that up together. So... So we got something and where else yep oh we've already reached the side of the map there we go so this is the side of the map and we've got all this over here to explore our cool steam vent uh, geyser is just doing its thing filling up the water which is great um i'm probably gonna need it a bit bigger if i'm honest um but there again, I could do like a channel. So we can make a small little channel. So you can use this as like a an, like an overflow buffer, maybe. Uh, so if we grab that, they are probably going to drown, if I'm honest. Uh, and then that should just overflow into this, fill this little pocket up, and then which would stop it uh, from getting too high um yep so what's next so they got all this to do so we'll leave them to do their own thing there what i don't want them to do is break this and then it just flows down here so yeah so that's what we're going to do we're going to take the ladder structure here it says it's unbuildable at the moment because they can't get through here they're gonna they're gonna have to uh suck it up and get a bit wet i think I know it's not ideal conditions, but that's what it is. We can probably get rid of all that now. Um, yeah, so that's okie doke. I don't know what's going on with my bottom of my thing. Let me just double check that game. Let's just reduce it back to... There we go. <clears throat> so I can see the bottom my icons now i couldn't see the bottom of my icons so we got an egg there which obviously i want to try and get into um farming um i never I, I have experienced it to a point but i find that you, you do you can rely on them quite well you know with the coal and the eggs and the meat if you design it correctly so that's one avenue we can go down, but obviously that's that's a list of many, many, many things. At the moment, let's just concentrate on getting this reed, uh, this uh, thimble reed, um, making a little tiny thimble reed farm, which I think I'm not sure, but we do have an aqua farm, so we could technically sit the um, thimble reed on top like that, or we could just use a pump uh, and then just pump it through i guess we don't know it's gonna not it's not gonna be ideal it's not gonna be brilliant but it gives us something <clears throat> um yeah so the water is going fine this they're not gonna build this yet because i got a funny feeling it's too far underwater the, the pressure's nearly a ton in pressure so well is that, does that work out as pressure or the mass so i'm assuming that's what it means by pressure so like i said we're learning 
gathering information as we go along. Uh, mis mistakes are going to be made. So I guess that's the whole learning process. Because, ex you know, experience and, you know, teaches you certain things. Which I guess is uh, vital, maybe. Or I wouldn't say essential. No, I'd say essential for uh, this game, I guess. Because you've got to learn. Constantly learning all the time. So we got... Them collecting it, yeah. So they, so they are. They're getting yucky lungs, sopping wet, and they're hungry. Uh, but they do have food. We haven't got much of food because we're relying on this so far. Uh, once I get uh, the hatch going, um, there is a mod which I downloaded they said they give flowers uh, i've not seen any yet so the the flowers are supposed to help the um reduction rate of uh the critters so there we go i think that's it there the blooming is i'm not sure i think i think so don't know there's like i said there's, a, there's quite a few mods um the mods that's installed on this is actually linked in the description below which is kind of handy for everyone i guess so i'm just it's basically going to be the same format on the description it's it's just going to have that basically through i have published my own uh collection on the workshop so uh if you find it useful especially if you're new to the game and or struggling or anything like that just give the, the the collection a little thumbs up as well as this video because it helps you know the youtube algorithm that no one ever seems to quite get right but everyone says they're an expert on it but yet well <laughs> it's rumored to be true uh to, true because that's the one thing i don't get because if you say uh that you're an expert or you understand how the youtube algorithm is then how come you haven't got the most subscribers on youtube that's my understanding anyway um but anyway let's get back to the let's get back to this game because i'm i'm kind of ranting there um so yeah they're just gonna get go off and do their their thing um they're gonna get wet they're gonna get stupidly wet and have slime i'm hope have they got slime lung no they got yucky lungs so but at, at this stage of the game it, you, you're kind of expecting that because it's not much i wouldn't say there's not much but it's like you're starting off so you're gonna get the concentrated version of you know the polluted oxygen or you're gonna get the the liquids and the, the you know the, the slime with slime lung in it um but obviously because the storage bin is just going to just keep on uh, filling up with whatever they can pick up with polluted dirt and slime. And then what we're going to do from that is we're going to probably refine it with like a sludge press or something. Um, and then I'm probably going to say that like the sludge press can go sort of in the middle here just for now and then pump out you know the, the polluted water. And then the polluted water then is going to basically make some thimble reed. And then the thimble reed is going to make us our EV suits. Which, as you all know, you kind of need towards, you know, to get through, you know, the chlorine and all the gases and uh, and whatnot. Uh, that's still going. They're all having a rest. So that requires emptying. So they've got one toilet for now, which is not ideal. That's not ideal for the three, but then again, it's only three people. So, <clears throat> sorry. And let's just speed it up a bit. So they, so they get through the day, wake up and then go off and do their own thing. Um, so we've got the fridge. What's this? Calling an axe cook a grill skill. Uh, we'll sort out all the cooking and all that in probably the next episode where i'm probably gonna make one a researcher one a builder maybe i might extend this up um because we do have the the headroom and we don't really hit the gases until around about here so we can also build up this way 
so you can build this ladder up this way and then it's going to be a bit well it says minus because of the ice which is kind of strange because <clears throat> this is pumping out uh 100 degrees in steam but then instantly because it touches this i'm assuming because it's really cold here and then see because that's 80 degrees but then on the on the this side's 80 degrees 50 30 and then 30 and then mm, but the water's 10 degrees and then it's interesting that's what I mean. It's, it's a lot to learn in this game, and um, apparently a lot of people struggle to get to 100 cycles. Um, I've got to 100 cycles quite a few times, but it's been more of me sitting there trying to figure it out. Um, obviously, mistakes are always made. You always live by your mistakes. You try to correct your mistakes the best you can, and things like that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Um, because obviously they're, they're taking a sweet, sweet little time. Oh no, they've actually done it. They've actually done it. Hang on then. So we can now say demolish this. Uh, we could level it off. Yes, we could level it off. So if we do it up to there and then I want to build, so this is. So you can't build on this, but I want to fill this in just because, so we can round the map off, I guess. And so I guess just get you, make you like that, and obviously let's take that out. Yeah, they're not going to be happy for a while. Um, because obviously they're going to get wet. They're, they're messing around in gases and dirt and whatnot. Uh, let me double, double check. Eggshells, yeah, eggshells can go in there. Um, yeah, keep eggshells in there. So anything organic, I'm probably going to end up just leaving it there. Um, because obviously, you know, it's going to off-gas in the central bit. Uh, I don't really want that just yet. But like, as I said, I'm going to leave this here. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.